this is sixth gear, right? And when we when I show you specifically what we're talking about, um, let me just see. So, okay, if you look down to where that's touching, yeah, your slider. This is your slider, right? That's the slider. That's. Right. I always thought that was called the synchro ring. That is the synchro ring. Oh, this it is, is the, the slider. That's, Which, oh, that's that will slider. actually overlap this and engage it. See how this is the other gear? This is fifth. Yeah. And when I push down on that, I don't want to pop it in. <coughs> springs out, so I'll put that in there first. When I push down, right now. So different gear. Different gear. You're now yep. in fifth gear. When I come back up and come back up this way. Engage the synchro engage, ring. It, that engages yep. into your sixth gear. Now, <coughs> where that sits on there and then overlaps on there if you look in here there is where you see that little little shiny spot there yes that's where if you look on the other side there's nowhere near as much yeah and if you look at these ones there's nothing as well so this right. is this is the equivalent of on fifth gear correct yeah well that is fifth gear and that's the driving tooth yep these are the actual teeth of the gear yeah but they're the driving dogs yeah so okay. they they enable it to engage yes. through the synchro ring right so what happens yeah. is when when that sleeve moves it pushes against that which is the synchro yep. ring that synchro ring pushes against the yes, gear, that. slows the gear down. Yeah, to friction, remain, friction between the synchro ring and, and the gear. And allows the engagement. Yeah. Okay, so that's what happens. <clears throat> that's the wear that I'm talking about in that little shiny spot that I showed you. Yep. And the actual problem with the box is this. So there's, there's play there. That's the play that you're... As you slide that, as that goes over the gear and the gear's turning, this there is, is going play. Yeah. Wobbling. And if I pull this off, which I will do, you can actually have a close look. I'll pull that gear off too. It's a bit easier to see. And if you have a now that's, fairly close that's look the at spline, that spine, the spline there. Look down, down <coughs> close down the bottom, yeah. and you can actually see the step. Yep. of where the wear is. Where is, yeah. And equally on the inside of here you can see how thin that spline is and it come towards me, yeah. Yeah. this end. Yeah. You can actually see the good part of the spline still evident. And up here it's thin. Yeah, so it's that wobble on there which is creating, C creating the problem. The problem. So, Simple as that. So the parts that... Do I need new synchro rings as well? No. No, they're all right? No, I haven't even priced synchro rings or asked them where... They, um, because they're fine. They're fine. That's that's not an issue to me. My my first consideration when I stripped it was this. Yep. After the conversation we had, I went looking further. Yep. And actually found this. So this shaft and that hub you've got to buy that as a unit yep um is what we need to fix your problem yep and we've gone the extra mile to get the that uh, needle bearing and this gear and that gear because yes. there's some rounding some here yep. yeah so this will this slider will be new that gear will be new new needle new shaft and that and problem, problem problem should be solved hmm. excellent thanks phil that All is right. really great